this wasn't here last time. Looks like we have some development going on, a little man-made holding pond, some drainage fencing put up. Uh, the trail is supposed to go straight through here, but obviously things have changed in the two years since I've been here last. But I can see down in this area there's a very light path going through over into the woods over there. So, uh, looks like a few people have been through here lately. So we'll go this way. I'm sure it won't be too hard to come around. It's been hot. Probably about 92 today. It was in the upper 90s yesterday. Last night it only got down to about mid 80s. Powerful thunderstorm came through this morning. Drenched everything. A lot of lightning, a lot of thunder. It's pretty cool. Luckily it didn't last too long. Just enough to keep the dust down today, which is nice. But I, I, it gave me a chance this trip to test out a new uh, sleeping bag that I have. I really wanted a summer weight sleeping bag, something that wasn't bulky and not big. And I guess this is as good a spot as any. Let's take a look at it. Well, this is it right here. It's the Nature Hike Outdoors lightweight summer sleeping bag. Um, and this is the bag that I've been using for the past couple nights and it's it's actually pretty good it's a summer weight sleeping bag uh, it says right here the limit is uh, 15 degrees celsius that's about about 60 degrees um, i actually think that's a little high i think this bag could go a little lower than that without a problem um, the weight is 680 grams i weighed this one this was actually 688 grams which is not bad that's about a pound and a half um, comes with its own compression sack and uh, it actually can compress pretty small uh, easy to stuff in the bag. I've had this in and out a couple of times already and uh, Overall, it's it's a pretty nice sleeping bag. It's lightweight. It's not too heavy uh, As far as you know warmth goes. It's it's plenty for uh, you know your summer nights like this when you're packing and uh, It's not getting that cold at night. Um, this is a this is a perfect pack for this type of weather and uh, For the most part, you know for a couple of months out of the year You don't really need at least along where we are you don't really need a, a, a really heavy sleeping bag um, a nice lightweight one like this will do just fine. So uh, let's go ahead and take it out of the bag and take a look at it. So there you go, the Nature Hike lightweight, summer weight sleeping bag. It's made out of this nylon ripstop material. Seems pretty uh, durable. The zipper itself, which is housed in a little door up here, I can do this one handed. Probably not. There we go is a, uh, a plastic zipper with a metal uh, zipper pull. It operates very smoothly, it's a kind of zipper. Um, it has this nice little door here that you can uh, close over the zipper to keep it protected um, and out of the way. Inside is a, is a plush material. It, it's not, um, you know, it's, it's not an uncomfortable next to the skin type of material. So all in all, it's, it's, it's a really nice sleeping bag. Like I said, it only weighs a pound and a half total in the pack. So um, it's actually a very lightweight uh, system. And for that, I actually have really liked this, uh, this, uh, this, this sleeping bag. Um, and for summer conditions when you're camping and it's not getting much below, you know, 50 degrees at night, 60 degrees at night, which it does primarily through around here, June, July, August, and even through into September, uh, you're doing hiking in these types of uh, uh, weather conditions and you really don't need anything much more than this. Obviously, when you start getting into spring, uh, fall, uh, you know, winter, stuff like that, you're going to need something absolutely more substantial. But even if you include a liner in here, um, sleeping bag liner, and uh, obviously dress appropriately, and you could certainly get this to go down much, much colder temperatures uh, than it is actually rated for. You can do that with any sleeping bag. Add a liner, wear good clothing. You can you can take them down a lot farther than they're rated. The uh, the only drawback that I found to the sleeping bag is the size. It's uh, if we look on the, uh, the 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 little pack cover here or the compression bag, I should say. You can see here it says uh, for adult, 190 by 75 centimeters. 190 is about I'd say that's about a little over six two. Um, 75 centimeters, that's uh, about two and a half feet. So 6'2 long, about two and a half feet wide. Um, I'm about six foot, 
uh, and this goes up to my shoulder. So for me, it's like the perfect length. If you're much over about 6'1", I would say this uh, particular uh, back or this particular uh, sleeping bag, the size of it is probably going to be too short for you. And that's with my feet pegged at the end. The front comes up to about my shoulder. Um, width wise, I'll tell you this, it says two and a half feet width. Um, if you are not a, uh, a svelte guy, if you're a, if you're a bigger dude, if you, uh, if you're a little overweight, um, you're going to find this bag to be very, uh, constrictive and restrictive. It, it is not a roomy bag. Um, if you're an in-shape guy and, uh, you know, you're not carrying extra pounds, um, it, this thing has got plenty of room. It's, it's not restrictive, it's not constrictive, um, it's not roomy, but it's pretty much what you want. You know, it's, um, it's enough there to do what it needs to do, but not too much that you have a lot of extra room. Um, for me, it fits fine. I have no problem with it, but if you're a bigger dude, this thing's going to be pretty tight, especially if you are a back or stomach sleeper. If you're a side sleeper, um, I actually think it gives a little bit more room if you sleep on your side, um, but I don't have a problem with it. I actually think it fits perfect. So um, if you need a little bit more room, I guess you could always buy two of them and uh, connect them together. That's the nice thing about these bags is they are very inexpensive. Uh, so I'll put a link down in the description to where you can get these. They are extremely expensive. I think they're less than 25 bucks for, for one of these. And uh, uh, easy, easy to get. Shipping is quick. Uh, if you're looking for a nice lightweight summer sleeping bag, uh, this is a really great option. Last night, it was actually so warm. As I mentioned, it was in the mid 80s here last night because of that front we had moved through. So I actually unzipped the whole sleeping bag into a blanket laid directly on my ground pad and just used it as a blanket over me because I didn't, it was too warm. I didn't need, um, you know, to be kind of cocooned up inside of this, this, uh, this bag. So I actually just kind of used it as a blanket. And for that, it was like freaking perfect. It wasn't too warm. It wasn't too, um, you know, obviously you're not going to get cold when it's 80 degrees outside, but, um, definitely didn't get too warm in the tent and, uh, the storms rolled through, uh, you know, a couple things got a little moist, got a little damp and that, but you know, overall it was, um, you know, it was a nice, dried out really quick. It's got a synthetic fill material, so, you know, if you get it wet, it's not going to stay wet for long. And uh, just hung it up for, you know, while we were eating breakfast this morning. Got nice and dried out, stuffed it in the stuff sack, just takes a minute or two, and uh, off we went. So there you go. The Nature Hike. Summer weight, sleeping bag. I think it's a winner. I like it. Definitely a keeper. Oh man, stopping in the sun there to talk about the sleeping bag. I'm sweating my balls off now. <laughs>